Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to be doing another quick video today, uh, simply explaining how you would change materials on a static mesh through a blueprint. So, as you can see here, I've got a, a blueprint here called Two Cubes Blueprint. That's simply two different. It's a single static mesh inside a trigger box, and when I play the game and move inside and press the letter H, the the uh, material on one of them changes; the other one stays the same. So, we're going to go. We're going to jump into the blueprint here and have a look at how we did that. So. We'll go over to the viewport and view what we actually have here. So we have a sync, we have a static mesh here that com consists of two different elements, a ground moss and a hex tech uh, material. And we also have a simple trigger box around them that will uh, allow us to determine where we need to be in order to press a button to change them. So as you can see there, element 0 and element 1, that's something to remember there. So when we look at the, just remember there, the element 0 is grass and that's the one that changed. So when we look at the event graph, we can see that it's a simple set material node here that has the element index of 0 and a new material selected here. The only thing I needed to do t in order to get this to work was simply to enable input. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I've shown you what we're going to do and I'll simply construct it from the beginning to the end and show you the entire process. So we'll move back out here. We'll, al we'll also even uh, create a new static mesh. So let's go on down to our materials within our starter content. Select two basic materials. Let's have a glass and we'll drag a box out that's going to be made of glass and we'll have a metal we'll drag a box out that's going to be made of metal and we'll merge the two so they're inside each other so you can see that I'm going to highlight them together and we're going to create a static mesh of the two we're going to name this uh, material mesh create a static mesh with that it's going to give you this light map setting thing simply scroll down to find lighting override the light map settings and you're good to go Now. The next step of this is to create, turn this static mesh into a blueprint. So move over here, turn this into a blueprint actor, and we're going to name this material mesh blueprint. Create the blueprint, open it up, and stick around in the viewport for a minute. We need to add a component, which is going to be a collision, box collision. And with the, uh, with the scale locked over here, we're going to scale that up ten times. Oops, ten times. So that we have a nice volume around our mesh in, our, in, our, in which we can enter and change the material of our mesh. So compile that, move on back over to the event graph and there's a, a really quick thing that we have to do in order to get the trigger to work there. So first thing we need to do is we need to begin overlap. Begin overlap oh, goodness me, sorry the wrong one. Right click event actor begin overlap and an event actor end overlap. Now on the beginner overlap we simply want to enable input, so drag off the execution pin and type out enable input. And the player controller of this is you're going to simply call get player controller. Now from the execution pin on the end overlap the only function you want to call is disable input. Now that we've enabled input, once the player is inside the uh, cube that we created we can call uh, a function when a certain key is pressed. For example I'm going to use the letter H, so when the letter H is pressed we're going to change the material. And this, it's a single blueprint for this. You're going to drag off the pressed execution node and type out set material. And you're going to make sure that you select the static mesh component. It is possible for us to uh, for us to determine what it's changed the material on. So, for example, if you had if you were using non-contact sensitive there and the target was a primitive component, you would simply drag off the static mesh up here, get it in the world, and hook that up to your target. So it's now going to change the material on the static mesh component. The element index, if we move back on over to the viewport and select our mesh, you can see here that glass is an element of 0 and metal is an element of 1. So we're going to change both of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to move them back over to the event graph and for element index 0, which is the glass, we're going to change the glass to... let's change it to steel. Let's swap them over. So let's search for steel and then what we're going to do is copy and paste this. Again, hook up the target in the execution pin. This time change the element index of 1 and change this to glass. Hit compile. And now we can jump back into the game. Hit play close to our cubes and when we press the letter H, they will swap materials. So that's how you set the material on a static mesh through a blueprint. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you'd like to request any of the tutorials, please leave a comment down below. Uh, do some stay subscribed to follow my personal development of my uh, personal game Sneak. And also stay subscribed for many more Unreal Engine 4 tutorials. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next video.